In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute little witch's hat for Halloween or any time of year come to that. Um, it's really simple to make. There is a similar one actually in my Half Yard Kids book um, which involves sewing so it's a little bit of a different technique but it's a similar kind of thing to the hat and there are some other Halloween type projects in there as well. However this one's not involving any sewing at all which is a bit unusual for me but there's a lot of gluing so we may get messy. So you are going to need your felt and this can be any colour you like, it doesn't have to be pink and the felt normally comes in six to nine inch squares so you're probably going to need three of those. You're going to need some wet glue, I use Gutterman HT2 glue. You're going to need a hot glue gun as well and be very careful with these if you're working with kids because they, they burn, they are very hot. You're going to need a six inch template and a nine inch template if you have one and if you don't we're going to use a ruler, a marking pen, other bits and bobs to decorate your hat so I've just got some silk flowers, I've got some ribbon that matches my, um, my felt and I've got a piece of netting which I'm going to make a lovely big bow to go on the back but if you wanted to buy a bag of bugs and stick creatures all over there and make it a little bit scary that's fine and I'm also going to need a marking pen and my scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my hat on and then we're going to draw circles. So I need two circles that measure six inches across and six inches is quite an easy uh, size to find in your pantry. So just going to draw around the circle and cut. Don't worry about it being set in stone that this has to be exactly six inches. It doesn't matter if it's six and a half or five and three quarters but around about the six inch mark is ideal. And I'm cutting through both pieces of felt together and I'm only using a synthetic felt, it's nothing very expensive so a craft felt will be absolutely fine. We don't want to spend too much money. Might only wear it once a year. So that's the top and the bottom of the brim of the hat, then I need to make the cone. So I'll need a quarter circle and if my circle is nine inches that would be a quarter of that nine inches but if you don't have a nine inch circle cut yourself a 90 degree corner or a right angle and I'm going to measure four and a half inches at the side and then pivot on the end of the ruler here and just keep marking the four and a half inches and you can see the shape of the cone happening. Just need one of those and we'll cut that out. So just cut between all of those dots. Then I'm going to use my wet glue and just drizzle a little of this from the point all the way down one straight side. Fold it over and then just overlap the edge all the way down and this is why I like to use wet glue here because I've got a little bit of wiggle time. Um, your hot glue gun will dry almost straight away so you've got to get it right first time but also because you're going to get glue on your fingers and I don't want to get hot glue on my fingers. Now if you've got a little bit of toy filler you can pop that in there to, to help it stay rigid or just use some of your spare felt and cut it randomly into a, a little triangle shape. Roll it up loosely, little dot of glue on the end and just that, push that into the point. It just helps the point to stay upright a little bit better. And then we'll put that to one side to dry. Meanwhile, we'll take one of the circle pieces 
and I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it into quarters. I'm going to measure just half an inch from the end. This doesn't again have to be perfect and I'm going to cut a little arc right through the point. So when I open this up I've got a hole in the centre. Now you may need to make this a little bit bigger but it's better to be too small and make it bigger than too big because you can't make it smaller because this is going to slip over the top of the point. So if you find you need to make the hole a little bit bigger just fold it back again, trim a little bit more away and that's a perfect fit. Don't worry about the hole being a perfect circle either. Mine's turned out to be a little bit pointy but it doesn't matter because you won't tell once the point's in there. So I'm going to push this inside and then hold the cone without taking the circle all the way to the end and I'm going to put some more wet glue around the end of the cone. Like so. I always put the lids on because they tend to dribble a little bit and then it goes hard and then you can't get your glue out. So now I'm just pulling up that circle so that the edge of my cone it kind of forms a lip around there and I'd leave that to dry normally for a little bit longer then that goes on top of here and again they're glued together this one's already dry so we'll carry on with this one and now we can start to decorate it so this is the fun bit I've got quite a wide headband. These headbands, I prefer them wider because then you've got more room for the, um, for the hat to be glued on top. They don't tend to wobble quite so much. But I could only find them in black. So I spray painted this one white. But if you've got a different colour, if you can source different coloured headbands, then that's absolutely fine. And I like my hat to sit at a jaunty angle, so it's just going to sit on one side. So bearing that in mind, I'm going to make a nice big bow out of my netting make those tails nice and even that's it and then really spread out the bow so it makes a nice big shape and this I'm going to glue to the back I'll just cut that tail off so that they're both the same length and literally onto the back of the hat using my hot glue gun this time this is another one that dribbles a little bit so I always like to put something underneath there just so it doesn't damage the table now this is where you need to keep fingers well away from the glue. Be careful where you put it down as well. So a dob of glue on the back of the bow and that's literally stuck in place that quickly. I'm also going to take a piece of matching ribbon. So this is just a, a pink check and I'm going to make another bow to go over the top. And this again, with my hot glue gun, I'm just going to glue to the centre of the back of the hat. So I've got the tails kind of all draping down the back like so. Now on the front of the hat, this is where I'm going to put my flowers. And as many of those as you like. And as random as you like as well. So I'm just kind of arranging mine around the brim 
and then I can take some up the cone of the hat if I want to and then fill in the gaps You could maybe just have one or two. You don't have to have a hat full of flowers. Depends how many you've got, really. When you're using the hot glue gun like this as well, it will leave strings of glue. If you have a, um, a heat gun, then just give it a, a, a blast when you're finished. Otherwise, it is quite satisfying picking off those strands of glue. You could use tweezers if you wish. So that's how we're looking now. Just pop a bit more glue there. That one looks a little bit loose. Maybe one more flower. I'm just trying to make it look quite balanced. That can go in there. So we're looking very pretty. I think with this one, I may just add a little bit of scurriness by adding one of the spiders from my bag of bugs. And if I put it just at the side of the flowers here, it doesn't stand out too much, so it's just a little bit unexpected. It makes it a little bit more realistic, I think, as well. Now on the hat that I'm wearing, I finished this one off by putting some trim around the edge and that again is just glued on, although if you wanted to hand sew that then of course you could do. This one I'm going to leave plain and now I'm going to put it onto the headband again just to one side. So a generous dollop of glue here because we want it to really stay fixed on. Make sure that's in the middle and just hold it for a few seconds. Good chance to pick off this glue while you're doing that. I feel it's a little bit wobbly so I'm just going to put a little bit more glue slightly around the headband and fold that down and hold it so you can see it's got a shape to it now. It does dry really quickly, it's just very hot, this glue. And the same on that side. And that's another little hat finished. So again, you can decorate these in any way that you like. And as I said earlier, they don't have to be all pink and floral. You could make them into spiders like this one. So this was exactly the same shape to the hat. I bought some pipe cleaners and just bent them. To cover it where I glued the pipe cleaners on, I put a pom-pom on the back here and that gives it um, a spider body. And then I just glued a couple of cat's eyes, like toy eyes in here. And with this one, again in the black, I put the bow on the back again, but I've added some beads to it as well with the ribbon bow. And this time I've put a couple of those spiders from my bag of books onto um, florist wire, which I, I coloured in black with a felt pen. And they kind of move around as you're walking. It makes them a little bit bouncy. And again, there's another spider on the front there too. So I hope you've enjoyed the little witch's hat tutorial. I'm sure you're going to have as much fun making yours as you will wearing them. Happy Halloween! <laughs>